really happy Monday. So I'm up before everybody actually, but the Graham's obviously up and gone out. Um, it is 10 to seven. We are back on the school runs again. Um, this is kind of my first official day because actually last week, kids went back on Friday. It was really random. I actually worked that day. I just, you know, I worked Fridays. I kind of missed the school run rush. Graham did it. So the kids are back. I'm actually doing their lunches because last night I forgot to get the Boomin wraps out of the freezer. So I was hoping they would be defrosted in time, but they weren't defrosted in time. So yeah, I'm doing lunches now, which is fine. They're just having ham and cheese wraps. Um, but yeah, I'm in my gym clothes because I'm going to go to the gym this morning. I've got this really, really big guilt feeling on because today officially we have decided to put miles in for an extra day at nursery. Um, actually just four hours, well, quarter past eight till 12 right so i've got this really really big guilt on at the moment because i'm not working and he only usually goes to nursery when i work <laughs> carlos is trying to get in our shuttle doors oh bless him he's getting in the shower um so today he's in and i'm not working and i don't know i just feel so guilty about it I just i just couldn't sleep last night i know i shouldn't feel guilty but you just do and I know he's going to have a great four hours there. Like, he's going to have a great time. But I feel bad because I'm at home. Like, I actually don't really need childcare per se. Um, but I kind of want it because I usually do my food shop on a Monday. And it's just, sometimes it's just so stressful trying to get it done with Miles. He just plays up, I don't know. <sighs> He probably just plays on it more because he knows I get so stressed about it. But, yeah. So, there we go. Also, like Graham said, like, when I come home from work, I'm usually tired. I've got like an hour and a half to myself. And most of the time I have lunch and I just veg out because I need to because I'm tired. And although that's a bit of time to myself, like quiet time, I don't really have any other time to myself like so i can like get stuff done i think having him in a, on a monday is going to be useful as well purely for like when we get closer to christmas and i can just do it christmas shopping and then next monday we've planned to completely go up in the lofts we've got like three loft hatches I completely got the loft we need to like sort through things we just don't have any baby free time and our mondays could now potentially be quite productive um so but i just feel so i feel so bloody guilty and i never i never drop him off so i think i'm gonna really struggle with it i feel like i've got like a big lump in my throat of like the fear of like dropping him off and him being really sad about it i do have to say like i cut my lights out um i want to say like it is so normal to feel the right to have a break like some people think that just because you have kids means that you have to look after them full time and you should because you chose to have those children and blah, blah, blah. And to be fair, like I did with Alistair and Violet, like I did for a really long time. I didn't put Alistair into nursery till at least closer to three. And with Vi, she was two. So I have, and a lot of that reason why Miles has gone to nursery is because I have gone back to work and it's just we're in a different world I feel like 10 years on we're in a different lifestyle now I've got two older kids that have a routine and like don't ever feel guilty at feeling the need to have a break especially if you don't have that family childcare like we don't really have any family that will have him so like you know what I mean like years ago my mum used to have um, Alistair just for like a couple of hours while I did the food shop now she just physically can't for lots of reasons um and yeah it's just again it's like 10 years on it's just everyone's in a different place in their life so yeah if i could reach out to you know if i knew like if I, I could have family look after him i would totally go down that route even if it was for a couple of hours just to get my food shop done but i don't have that and sometimes you have to have other resources like nurseries or preschools or whatever child minders 
So, um, yeah, I just want to say, like, don't ever feel guilty to feel the need to be away from your child. I feel like it actually makes me a better mum so much more. I have so much less patience sometimes because I'm tired from work and I just need, I do need that break. I do need some time apart from him and all of them. Like when the kids are at school, it just that's the kind of a break I get because they're at school. So, um, yeah. Although I'm saying I feel I feel guilty, I do feel guilty. You will continue to feel guilty as a parent. You do always blame yourself for everything, and I do. But we still have a right to to have an, a you know a few hours to ourselves. I mean, why not? I work freaking hard, and yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a little rant. That's a little random. Um, what I'm gonna do. I need to get kids up. That's what I need to do. Lunches are done. Violet, wit, get up. Yeah, got an hour. <laughs> Just undone her blind. Good morning. Look at that, already made my bed when I got up. Winning for a Monday. Just seeing the little Peter Rabbit and all the chicks. Pete. Good morning, Peter Rabbit. Old. It's a bit fresh this morning, isn't it? But it's supposed to be really warm today. Right, everybody is dropped off. First Monday, back to school properly. Miles went into nursery, really happy, which I was relieved about. The kids really helped actually, because I dropped him off first. And they were like, we're all going to school. Like, at first he was like, oh, you know. He had his little backpack, which makes him happy. But, um, yeah, they, were, they really helped kind of settle him I think knowing that they like he knew that they were going off to school and so was he and then we talked about we're going in the pool after school because Violet's got a little friend over after school and yeah so he went in happy and then the two big kids went in together which is great having the schools really close together and it's just yeah so handy um so yeah now I'm off to the gym it's 8 28 right sweaty workout done Basically, just do a bit of cardio and then abs, which is a, most of the time it's not really what I do that much. I do a lot of core, but like more free weight stuff. So I thought I'd make the most of like the stairmaster and the interval treadmill and whatever. I'm gonna have one of my protein bars. This is the crispy layered chocolate caramel. It's really nice. And I'm gonna head off to Aldi. Home sweet home to my chick family. I think I'm gonna feed them right now. Just gotta get in all the bags. I got some. I literally. <laughs> got stuck in B&M shall I say. Oh my god, got stuck in the black hole of B&M and Christmas and stocking fillers. But I'm going to show you Aldi first and then I'll show you what I got because I think it's good to share things. Although it's great doing like a Christmas haul as I get closer to Christmas, but obviously right now it is quite handy to show you what they have on offer now because you can go buy it like me, like buy it in advance. Makes sense really. But um, yeah, I'm going to 26 degrees. I'm gonna uh, get this Audi shop out and I'll show you what I got this week. Okay, gotta be quick because it is a warm day. So we've got celery, wonky blueberries, I've got two lots of raspberries. Uh, Graham loves raspberries, so um, I thought he would love those. My classic fruit salad that I get every day, every week. Some avocados. Ooh, is that a bit squashed? No, I'm hoping that's okay. I'm gonna use that today, I believe. If that's all right, it looks a bit squashed. Um, but I wanted to get obviously the ripe and ready ones because I, I hate waiting for them to ripen up. I think we're either going to use it in the next couple of days. Some petit pois peas, um, tube it yogurts, the olive and antipasti selection. I've tried a different version of this and I thought I would try this one. It's the marinated olives, uh, sun dried tomatoes, and then the paprika and parsley cheddar. Mm, sounds good. Some tomato puree. I always suck up on that because we do homemade pizza most weeks. Um, Spanish treat soap for the meal. I'm doing my simply cooked meals this week. So we have Spanish treat soap, lamb mints. We usually have our own lamb mints, but um, it actually went all off to market over the weekend and there's literally nothing left. Um, so I had to buy that. Bananas, some passion fruit. I've been mixing that with yogurt and I oh, just love it. The kids love them as well. Honey, because I'm nearly out. Some of this apple juice for Graham because he loves it. Whole milk, I got some gem lettuce, 30% off. 
Greek style yogurt, some mixed beans. I did need black beans, but that's pretty much just as good. Um, some sweet chili hummus. They didn't have the seeded one that I love and everyone else loves, so I thought I would try this one instead, sweet chili. Um, two lots of the cheese and peel sticks. My yogurts, the vanilla, the peach and passion fruit and the raspberry. Some sour cream, need that for my meal. And then two lots of the single cream. I've got a peach and, peach and passion fruit creamy yogurt and then apricot. I'm gonna try those with Vi, see if she wants to take one to school or something. She's a bit fussy with yogurts. Um, Golden Delicious Apples, my absolute favourite, some carrots, some of these for the older boys, Graham and Alistair, the chocolate buttons things, with, and that's the flakes, there's two of each, and then the pots of choc, these are the caramel. And we've got flame grilled chicken thins, honey roast ham, some salmon fillets with ginger, chilli and lime, this is my favourite one. They have a couple of different marinated ones. Um, some tomatoes, these are my favourite ones, they are slightly bigger than the standard cherry tomatoes but they are so sweet. And then also I've got these ones as well, the piccolo ones which are again really nice. Chocolate fudge cake, this is basically a weekly staple that the kids absolutely love. Um, and then some sausage rolls, I've got some choco breaks and some seal bars for the week for school, pat lunches, hopefully they won't be melting quickly. Um, and then one pack of chocolate chip cookies, some flatbreads because we're going to be having lamb koftas with flatbread. So I got the seeded versions, had those are really nice. And then they're just the white ones as well. Some toffee coated popcorn, this was 99p. Um, and then I've got some sandwich thins for lunches, some brioche rolls with chocolate chips, some wraps for the quesadilla meal this week, some fusilli. I couldn't find any whole wheat penne, so I've decided on fusilli. Again, it's a meal with tomatoes and chorizo, simply cooked meal. So I've got that. Some poops, some basmati rice, and then I've got three of my oats that I take to work. So I've got those, the berry and the blueberry and apple. They didn't have the golden syrup, so I just got two of the blueberry and apple. Some Weetabix, everyone's pretty much eating this at the moment. Um, I am quite partial for, to Weetabix, to be fair. I've got some of these meaty rolls for the dogs and some the bigger tin food. And then, I saw this a couple of weeks ago and I didn't buy it. Um, the kids had this actually, a Fisher Price version, years and obviously years and years ago. And I thought this would be perfect for Miles at this age. It says two years plus. It's counting colours. You pop it in and the pig, um, I was testing out the other one. You have to pull the tab out. But I was testing out the other one. It just talks and it just, you know, it's very interactive. And it was only £12.99. So this is going to go away for Christmas because he sorted for his birthday. And um, it's a lot cheaper than the Fisher Price one. And they do have different versions. They had a cookie jar and they had an elephant as well. But I thought he'd love the pig. So um, yeah, I got him that. Like I said, I saw it in there a few weeks ago. So I was still quite surprised that they still have some left. But yeah, that is pretty much my ooh, Audi haul. Don't want to eat too much. Graham's gone out going off um, sea fishing. Aren't you, Gray? Yep. When was the last time you've been? Three years ago. Three years? Oh my god, yeah, so he's going to Porky, do an afternoon of sea fishing, he's just going to relax. Let's hope you actually catch something this time, because I think last time you didn't catch anything, did you? And it was freezing. I think it was a different time of year. Yeah, that was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But you still enjoyed it though, don't you? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Loves fishing. So yeah, Graham's off for a little, a little, that's his little pamper sesh. That's your little time alone, isn't it? And he hasn't done it in three years, so. <laughs> That's what I wanted in three years. <laughs> That's bad. Next one, 2024. <laughs> awesome. Don't really feel really guilty. Um, I'll show you what I've got from B&M quick, because I need to go pick up the baby. Okay, some birthday bits. Obviously his birthday's coming up, so the kids are gonna fill this one out for him, and then I've got this one. Some confetti balloons, and this little happy birthday banner with some balloons. And then some, these little, plates he's got um he's got some other bits as well and graham's ordered him what have you ordered a tractor balloon or something yeah. you've ordered miles a tractor balloon a big number two as well, yeah. yeah so we've got someone local that do like balloon what are they called balloon craft he basically makes like a tractor 
out of lots of little balloons. Oh yeah, Violet had the witch. Yeah, because obviously her birthday is Halloween. right on Halloween. And yeah, and Alistair had a Minecraft one, didn't he? Fortnite. Fortnite. So yeah, he's ordered one for Miles to have like a big red tractor with the two. So um, yeah, he's got more balloons coming. But I was like, obviously in B&M, they just have so much. And I ended up picking up some bits for like stocking fillers, because this is literally the start of it. I haven't started yet. So I got this for Miles. I think that I might give this to him like Christmas Eve. It's like a little book. They had loads of these little jiggly eye books. They were £1.49. I got this for Violet, the crystal growing rainbow edition. So that was 2 50 That's a good stocking filler. Um, and then I got Miles and Violet one, because I know Miles will love these, and Violet loves sausage dogs, so I got them one each. They were £1.50. I got Miles this, because it's a colour changing car that goes in the water. They had, again, they had loads of different ones of these, um, like that. So I thought that was quite cool. I got Alistair these, fidget tubes. Violet already has these, and I know my, um, Alistair doesn't have any, so I thought I'd get him those. Again, they have loads of colours and packs and loads of fidget things, so I got him those for his stocking filler. Um, I got these also for Violet, gem friendship bracelets. I haven't seen these before, I think they're new in. So again, a good stocking filler. This was down to one pound in like this clearance bin. These are erasers. And then I got Miles this. This was down to one pound fifty, I think. The bath bombs. Um, it's a spinning one, apparently. You put it in and it spins, but it's obviously safe for kids. So I thought that would be quite cool. I got this to put for Violet's birthday. Ah, oh, going down the girly aisle. She's just not really into much of it anymore, but I thought, this would be really cool because she still likes slime and I looked on Amazon and these were £20 and in B&M, they must be new in, in B&M they are £12.99. So you make uh, a magic potion slime and there's eight to collect. They're all different colour bottles so I just got the green ones, I thought that was quite cool. So I got her that, I got some chicken noodles because the kids love those, the big kids, we haven't had them in ages. So this pack of like cereal was a pound. Um, and then I got this set, I've got 60 piece value pack glow set for two pounds. And I thought this would be great for Halloween. Miles is well into this sort of thing now. So I thought that would, that's a bit of a bargain really. Um, I got Smelly Science, this was down to one pound. And I think Alistair would love this because it's gonna stink of poo clearly. Um, a good stocking filler and then also these little zombies were down to 75p they grow and they glow in the dark so you put them in water and they grow apparently 50 times bigger so I think he'd like those and then I got the we have a big pack of the little Brian paint sticks love them got them from Amazon they do these metallic ones and they do the original ones as well in this pack um, of six so we already have the gold and silver, but we don't have these metallic ones. These were £2.50. Again, I thought these would be great stocking filler for Miles. Um, but actually, all the kids love them, and they're really, really mess-free. And then lastly, I just picked up some of these skinny chocoholic snack pots. I don't know. I just thought they looked good. And they were three for a pound. So yeah, that is everything. Oh no, that's a lie. I've got one more thing. I'm going to put this away for Miles for Christmas. £12.99 for this kitchen sink. I've actually got one of these saved in my Amazon basket and I'm sure it's £25. So this is a much better value. Apparently it's battery powered tap. So the tap, he loves washing up and honestly it's so wasteful, the water. And I think he's just gonna love this so much. Um, but yeah, you can do the two for 20, but I just went for the 12.99 just for one thing because I just didn't feel like there was anything else. But it comes with loads of utensils and stuff. So that is going away for Miles's Christmas gift. Right, just got back with Miles. Uh, Graham's gone off to his fishing trip now, which I am so pleased that he has decided to go. I literally didn't know until today. Um, and I'm so pleased that he has decided just to do this for himself. He works so bloody hard and he never takes any time off work, like ever. Even last night, he didn't get into half past nine. He came in for like dinner and then he went back out after we put Miles down to bed. So he does all like, you know what I mean? He tries to be there for all the nitty gritty bits of like home life and he's always, a, he's always around for those bits, but then he always has to go off. So um, yeah, I really hope he has a lovely fishing trip. I mean, it is 
boiling but he's yeah at least it's dry and it's going to be lovely on the sea anyway isn't it he's actually going to pull key as well what have you got bearing in mind he's just had lunch at nursery so he had cottage pie and a yogurt and now you've got cheese and you've got blueberries and then I've just done a picky plate for myself. So I've got chicken, I've got, I feel really hot and bothered. You know, you just, I need to cool off. Um, I've got chicken, I've got celery, I've got some of this sweet, sweet chili hummus. I'm gonna have some of this, just pick it that, and some cheese. This is so good. Like it's got the tiniest little sweet chili kick to it, but it is so good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of folding of a dark wash while he is very entertained with his blueberries over there. The reality right now. I want to get in the shower, he wants to go outside. He's got to wait. Okay. I'm a bit tired. I've been getting myself ready. I just put this really light dress on because it's just super airy and I I swear I've only worn it twice because it just hasn't necessarily been warm enough but since it's a hot day I'm going to make the most of trying to get some use out of my dresses before I pack them away. <sighs> I just uh, put away some washing and my was did, it was he's calmed down, he um just been watching a little bit of CBeebies. Right, we're out in the garden. Yeah, I've just been trying to sort out a bit of shade because it is like a sun trap, obviously, in our garden. There's just the sun is slowly moving around though because we've I did put a parasol up, so we've got a bit of shade for when we have friends over. Oh, well, that zoomed in, but um, yeah, it is. And there's not much wind, which is good because again, this can be a bit of a wind trap up here and parasols just go all crazy. So at least we've got somewhere to kind of shade from, but we could always go sit over there anyway because there is a parasol over there. But it's just nice to be here because he loves playing with the sand. Obviously I haven't opened that up yet. I'm gonna wait until everyone's back from school um, because otherwise he'll wanna get in it now and we've got about half an hour-ish before we go get the big kids. We've literally, I thought he might have a little sleep. Yesterday he kind of lay down on the bed with me and we were just watching a bit of TV and then he just was out like a light for about half an hour. I thought, oh, we might do that. So we just laid down, we watched a bit of CBeebies. Yeah. Yeah, I see. He didn't go off to sleep, but he has had a little, a little quiet rest, I would say, a bit of quiet time for him. He doesn't have a lot of that. He's always go, 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 obviously. So that was quite good for him. And then I've just published my video. Restarted my computer, because oh, it's getting quite old and it's quite slow. So um, I've just done that. And then I've just sorted out this parasol. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah. Having a bit of a chilled afternoon. I'm looking forward to having a ice, L-O-L-L-Y. He knows what that means when I say that. Um, so yeah, when, when the kids get back from school, just to have a little bit of a cool down. But yeah, we're, oh, yeah. we're just hanging out, aren't we? Beautiful day, absolutely yeah. gorgeous day. Have you got your sand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you love your sand, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to get Alistair and Violet in a minute? Yeah. He literally keeps going in their rooms and saying, Islet, Islet, Alice. And I'm like, they're at school getting back into that routine of saying they're at school they're not here is that your sock monster yeah. is it is that your sock monster that he's put his sock on his hand you're funny who's is that croc a daddy croc daddy croc a daddy croc and mummy's got my crocs on are you going to take it off oh oh look at mummy look at mummy see he's getting I don't know if you can tell but he's got some serious I've been starting to use some like sensitive washes on him he's super super sensitive his skin lately like none of them have ever had reactions or rashes or been allergic to anything but I feel like just recently he's been going through like some sort of like sensitive skinness because he 
does come up in rashes quite a lot in different areas you know whether it's on his bum or his back or like a lot in his on his face recently he's had, obviously had quite a couple he's had a few sessions of sun cream on so i put some on this morning obviously and then they've done it i think they did it maybe at least once that maybe even twice at nursery because they went off to forest school this morning but yeah he's just he looks all i don't know if it's a heat rash or sweaty but you are looking very very rashy mister aren't you it's your little sensitive skin right violet's friends just gone they've been in the pool all afternoon it has been absolutely blooming hot and glorious and um yeah Miles is currently filling up his aqua play with the hose. He's uh he's been pretty ratty this afternoon to be fair. Is that good? Filling it up. I'll go. Oh gum, is it all done? Let me turn it off. If I was out there playing with him, watching him obviously, I've just shut up the pool. Um obviously I haven't got Graham back so I haven't really got any help. They've by its friends literally just left so we're a, a bit delayed with dinner and then, to be fair I don't it's so hot I just don't even know what to cook and I just because I knew Graham wasn't going to be back anyway um it's just been hard to really plan to do anything you know what I mean right no cooking for me I've literally just done picky plates for them and then they can also have some I'm going to just put hummus and some of this as well you can just pick at the olive okay bit of a boring dinner but that's pretty much what i have for lunch anyway i've used the other chicken and then some other bits i forgot the tomatoes got some ham yeah. i really want some cucumber your cucumber you ate it haven't you no oh. yeah there is cucumber on your plate not your own grown one this is what i got from graham today he sent me this as they were going out the pool harbour and then he also sent me this because the air show, that plane crashed at Pool Quay. That's where it is. And then he also sent me the one fish that he caught. I don't know what fish that is. Miles, look at his rashy face. I've literally had to put some of that anti sand cream on his face and some ibuprofen. Look at it. So bad. I've never seen his face so rashy in my life. Isn't it? Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> As you can see, he doesn't, he's absolutely fine. Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Violet, how's your yoghurt? She's eating the peach and passion fruit yoghurt I bought today. Because she didn't like the strawberry one. Good? You like it? Right, I have just done the kiddies' cat lunches. I've just hoovered round. <sighs> tidied the kitchen. Oh, knackered. Naka, I hoovered the lounge as well just to get the bits out of the way where the kids obviously traipse in and out from the back door. It's a bit of sand everywhere. <sighs> Hot. Six o'clock. I'm going to get Miles in the bath in a minute and just start our like bedtime routine really. Get him down because he hasn't had sleep today. He is pretty, like I said, he's pretty ratty. Ready for sleep. Miles is playing in the bath. Busy, busy boy. Graham's on his way home. I am actually sweating my bits off and I just put some of this acne side, this is what Alistair's one, acne side 5% gel cream on my spot. A, I haven't had a juicy one like that in ages. Like it really feels like it's it's just really, you know, like stuck under the skin. But yeah, this stuff is yeah. pretty good. Um, I usually just get it from like this online pharmacy place. Oh. I submit I am a little bit yeah. concerned about the rashes yeah. on his face. Bye -bye. He doesn't seem phased by it at all. Bye -bye. They're not anywhere else on his body. It's literally uh. just his face. That one there kind of looks like a bite. And then there's a couple of rashes just around. Aren't they? You're rashy. And I noticed him getting a bit rashy when we were on the school run. It kind of got really, really hot. We were in the park. And before we actually went, we basically we did quite a bit of walking, which is really good for him. I kept like praising him how good he was at walking. But he was just getting hotter and hotter. And he started like itching his face and he had his hat on. 
But yeah, since we've come back home, like I've just, it's just really come out. Car. Your car. Is that a daddy's car? Daddy's car. Daddy's car. Daddy's car. Right, this just got his bike. We're going to get you some milk, aren't we? Yeah? Do you milk? Great, please hurry up. I'm flagging bed early tonight for me. I mean, like, we are all going to bed like eight o'clock tonight. I feel so tired. It's We've got eight new chicks. Honestly, these chickens are broody as hell, aren't they? Constant. They are pretty cute and fluffy. And there's this one that's like cream and black, isn't it? It's so cute. It's so cute. But yeah, I'm kind of over the chickens. We've got far too many. Groom's watching a bit of cricket catching up on what he hasn't watched. So I am watching the sun go down. And I finally decided to open this pot because I swear it's been in my freezer for like two months. The best one is definitely the raspberry and white chocolate, but honestly, I can never find it in there. It's never, I don't know if they've discontinued it, but it's never in store anymore. It's either this one or the salted caramel, I think, that's in there. But I'm going to have some of this anyway because it is... Uh, I need some ice cream to cool me down, but this is... It is good. I thought I'd check on the runners quick. We have got a serious amount. They're getting a bit too big, actually. I might need to pick these. Um, yeah, I've got some runners. And then... Oh, my God. Whoa. Um, and then I... <laughs> I think I showed you before, Graham's being grown corn as well. Look at this. Not quite ready yet, not quite big enough. Look, this one's quite big though. How cool is that? We've never grown corn before. I'm quite surprised how, how easy it was actually. Get these dogs out while it's cooled down now. And um, Pickles doesn't come. He he's allowed out. He comes out, but he doesn't actually walk anymore. As in, like go for walks. He's just too weak, too old. Like he literally will get to as far as the gate and then just walk back home. So he just ferries about. He's fine. He eats well. He sleeps a lot. He's just really old. He's like 14 now. So he's happy, but he's just very old he's an old grumpy man basically and um yeah he just doesn't ever go on walks anymore he literally cannot walk that far and he's so weak like his back legs are so weak but he still eats like i feed him twice like really big meals a day and yeah greedy dog still like normal but never mind it's just old, isn't it? Old age. I was thinking when I get my Moors Valley Pass, if I decide to get one. I think I mentioned yesterday, actually, about my uh, the Oceanarium uh, putting out passes. They have now put out their annuals. I think it's only for a really limited time. So I paid £32. I bought it last night because I thought I'd have a browse again just to see if it was out. And um, yeah, £32 for the year. It's eight miles to the Oceanarium, so absolute bargain. But yeah, if I um, decide to get the Moors Valley Pass, I was thinking I could uh, take Chew. Chew's um, the only one that's lead trained. The other two don't have never really been on leads. They've never even worn collars. Um, Chew was actually puppy trained. Like Graham took him to like classes and stuff. So I can't actually take Donk with us anyway. But obviously he'll be with pickles anyway but he does he generally doesn't walk as far as chew because obviously chew's a lab and chew has so much energy like ridiculous amount of energy he needs a really good run so i think if i get this pass i think it will encourage me to take him as well <laughs> a toddler and a big dog we'll see <laughs> i might trial it with graham first see how it goes but it'll be good to get him out on longer walks really 
he does need it. He's got so much energy. He's only six. So he's still so bouncy. You're a puppy. You. You're a puppy. Come on. He's a good boy. Very good. And he doesn't bark either. Donko. He is a constant barker. He just barks at anybody, everybody, every dog. Yeah. But Chew, he doesn't ever bark. Ever. Look at that sky. Gorgeous. Ah. Actually, I'm going to end my video now just because I'm not really going to be doing much. I've just been prepping work stuff for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to, you know, get the kids prepped ready for tomorrow as well for school make sure they've got their stuff ready because i'm not going to be there in the morning i just like to prepare them you know i've already done the lunches so that's ready um but yeah spend some time with graham obviously and we, what we've been doing because we i got one of those fire sticks because before we never had netflix in our room we always just had like free view um, so now we've got Netflix in our room. It's so nice because it means that we can just relax, watch a bit of um, how to how to be a murderer or something it's called. It's really good, honestly, I would highly recommend it. So we're gonna watch that, I think, one episode of that. I think, oh my God, what starts again? Silent Witness starts again tonight, I think. If you haven't seen Silent Witness, oh my God, there's quite a few series now, but that I think starts again tonight. Oh my god, we've got so much to watch. But yeah, as always, I really hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know if you uh, do, and if you've got any video requests, as always, I'll see you in my next vlog. Next time it will probably be raining because we've got one more day of warm weather and then it's supposed to rain and cool off again. So, yeah, never mind. But yeah, have a great week, and I will see you all soon. Here he is. Oh, not you, Jews, little pickles. Oh.